late February and into March is a great time to prune your fruit crops, uh, trees, and shrubs. Dr. Eric Staffney, OSU Fruit Crop Extension Specialist, is joining me today to demonstrate how to uh, prune our blueberry plant. Now before we get started pruning, could you tell me about some of the good varieties for Oklahoma and the different types of blueberries? Sure. In Oklahoma we can grow three different types of blueberries, especially there's some that are better so suited for the north part of the state and the central part of the state, as well as the southern part of the state. Okay. So in the northern part of the state there's the high bush, or sometimes called northern high bush, of which uh, blue crop and duke are good varieties. Mm -hmm. In the middle part of the state, there's a southern high bush, of which Ozark Blue and O'Neill are a couple of good varieties. And in the far south, kind of along the Red River area, in the southeast part of the state especially, you can grow rabbit eye blueberries, a very southern type of species. And some of those are Climax and Premier. Okay, well, let's get started uh, pruning here. Um, can you just walk us through this, tell us some of the goals that we are trying to achieve as we prune the plant. Now this has obviously been here a while. Right. This, this is kind of an unthrifty plant. I would say that this has been here maybe 10 years or more. As you can see, it's already been pruned at some point to take out a lot of the uh, middle growth that was there earlier. However, none of that uh, new canes come up in the middle. They came up on the sides, on either side. So what we're going to do is try and take away some of this growth, this unthrifty growth, and especially anything that's dead or, or decaying there, we want to make sure we want to get rid of that too. Okay. So one of the first things we'll do is, is kind of look at the plant itself and see uh, what is it that looks like it's not growing well and mm -hmm. what's going to be shaded and not um, going to receive enough sunlight. Okay. So one of the first things I'm going to do is take out some of these bottom canes, okay. like this here. Oh yeah. This is, and what you really want to do is make sure you cut it off at ground level. Okay. Now this one was just getting shaded That underneath. was getting shaded too much. And these, uh, he, this it's one small. especially is, is, is uh, dying and mm -hmm. dead. Uh, this one I'm going to leave just for the moment because it is a lot of new growth and there's not too many uh, new canes in here. So I'm yeah. going to leave that for the moment. This one is an old cane. It's not in the right place, it's going to get shaded, and it's kind of crossing over some other canes. So one thing you want to make sure, if you've got a drip line, not to cut the drip line. <laughs> so you make a clean cut like that. This is also coming out, this will intercept some light here, but that's, it's very unthrifty. We do have some new growth here and here, but that type of new growth is so small that it's not going to really produce any fruit. Okay. Uh, this uh, up on the upper part is much better. I'm just going to cut this off. Okay. I'm going to just leave that. Leave this the here. The one that's growing mm -hmm. up. In this case, let's just take a look at this one. Here we've got some really good growth, and then it splits and goes off this way. It's kind of crossing over, mm -hmm. but it's it's got some good growth on the end, so I think I'm going to leave that for this year. But here's a little bit that's kind of in the middle. These will continue to grow. These, these little pieces that I've cut off will continue to grow into the middle, but okay. they'll just rob energy from the rest of the plant okay. because they'll be shaded. And so a lot of this little, small stuff can be cleaned up with some hand pruners. Okay. Uh, what you really want to do is clean out this middle to allow sunlight penetration and airflow, which will reduce fungal disease problems. This one is, is dead, back mm -hmm. down. So you want to cut it back to where it's still alive uh, and an act actively growing point. That off too. This here is growing into the middle. Oh yeah, it crosses over. So we'll cut that off. And how long can you pr uh, continue to prune the blueberries into the spring? Uh, you should you should do all your pruning before the buds start breaking open, okay, because once they start doing buds. that, they'll be producing flowers. Mm -hmm. And then once you if you start pruning when they have flowers, you may knock them off. Okay. So you don't want to do that. Fruit. You don't want to lose the fruit. 
I'll just make a few more cuts down here. Uh, some of these that aren't. And again, these are well. going to be shaded, the ones that are growing underneath. Right. And it's going to take probably a couple of years to get this back into the shape that we want it to be. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be important to do all the pruning, but also get um, fertilizer on this, something that's probably acidic, like an ammonium sulfate. Okay. And also make sure it's watered. And you should do a soil test every couple of years to make sure the pH is at a good level. You know, okay. Good level, I mean, between 4.5 and 5.5. Okay, very acid-loving plants, right. these blueberries. So let's move along here. Okay. And we've seen on this plant, there's some older canes, like these. And they the, tend to have this peely kind peely of bark. peely bark. Mm -hmm. And then there's some more middle-aged type of canes, like these. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We want to have three different stages, older, middle, and then the very young ones that are coming up uh, mm -hmm. quickly. And these so, are going to be a little greener. Very green, uh, smooth bark on here. We'd like to have a lot more of these mm -hmm. so then we can pick and choose which ones we want to keep. Okay, so as we continue to do this over the next couple of years, we're going to strive to getting younger shoots and getting rid of some of this older stuff eventually. Right. Eventually you like to cycle out of all that old stuff old shoots and then have just a continual re renewal of different shoots coming up. Okay, um, and you mentioned fertilizer. What else can we do to uh, help our blueberries plant, plant thrive? Uh, one of the main things you can do is mulch it. Mm -hmm. And see so you've got some, some mulch here, some pine bark mulch works well, something that's very acidic. Okay. And uh, you have to renew that probably every year and uh, that'll help keep the pH down as well as uh, eliminate the weeds. Now the weeds are a significant problem for blueberries. Um, they just don't have a really strong root system for competing with weeds, so it needs to be weed free around the plant. Okay, and um, I've been reading a little bit and I find that blueberries actually use quite a bit of water, is that correct? They do. Um, one of their, the things about blueberries is they have no root hairs on their root system. Okay. So they have a little bit harder time taking up water than something with, uh, with root hairs. So they need to have that water uh, directly at the base of the plant. And, so, and they can use it quite a bit because they put on a lot of fruit and as you know the fruit is almost all water. Okay. Well wonderful. Thank you very much for joining me today. You're welcome.